See, I know my sisters have already watched this video. Maybe it's time for me to watch it too. It's the Are Women Okay video. I, 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 I'm, I'm on a, honestly not sure what happens in this video, but we could watch it together. You're in for a trip. Am I gonna get mad? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. And Raytheon stock. War is a terrible thing, and this war has been happening for a very long time, from before most of us were born, and will be raging on after we're long gone. I'm of course talking about the gender war, men versus women. For those of oh you who've God. been following me for the past year, you know of my ongoing research into the man question. From learning how to be a real man, if you're a grown ass man and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are likely to be a raging homosexual. <laughs> to judging- Wow guys! Wearing your seatbelt automatically takes away your man card. I don't know what kind of logic this is. Men's living spaces. Men will literally not buy a TV set. Um, okay. You probably could have gotten a decent TV stand for less than the price of both of these. I'm just saying. Stand, but we'll have too many fridges. To examining their interesting dating rituals. Wish your toes were in my mouth right now. I mean... I mean, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with a little toe sucking. Not that I like my toes being sucked. Anyway, let's continue. In hey. And although this journey is far from over, I decided to take a break to focus on the fairer sex. That's right, the whammon. There are many things women love in this world. Flowers, chocolate, pumpkin spice lattes, cute animals, shopping, complaining and nagging. Am I right, fellas? But above all else, <laughs> Women love posting their own L's. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. Wait, what does this have to do with your cousin getting married? Why can't we be happy for other people? Also, let me let me just say this, cause I, I get it. Sometimes you get too comfortable on the internet, but like people who treat their social media like it's their diary, you probably need to go to a therapist. I'm just saying, like I get it. Some you wanna share like certain things about your life and what's going on with you. But if you're coming to the point where your social media pages are becoming a diary for me for you, Instead of maybe tweeting about what kind of situation you're in, how angry you are, all this, all that, um, have you ever considered, I don't know, getting a therapist? I don't know, man. I don't understand. And the thing is, I get so irritated. Like, I get it if it's every now and then, like, oh my god, I'm going through this situation, I don't usually talk about it. But if it's somebody who's constantly, and I know these people, I know these people because I have... I have them on my social media. I see them. They, every single like post they make, it's like, oh my God, this happened. Oh my God, my ex did this. Oh my God. Like, girl, you shouldn't have, don't be sharing your entire life on the internet. Maybe go find a better way to, to vent instead of posting it like all of this as a diary. It, I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. So I've been working on a pretty big video and I thought it would be nice to take a little break. Can I just say I really love her eye makeup? Content because I know you guys love the trash content. And I feel like the last two I'm a sucker for a thick eyeliner. Serious than I usually am. So I feel like it's trash time. So let us answer the question on everyone's mind. Are women okay? Probably no. not. No. No, they are not. But before we get into this deep dive into the psyche of the modern woman, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. Are you tired of this happening to you? Introducing AG1 no. video. And thank you as always, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. I did now skip the ad. The video. No shame. From posting about their old high school teachers subscribing to them on OnlyFans to posting about their boyfriends cheating on them with their own mothers. Women what? love posting their own L's. I would know. What? Ha! Huh? Despite mothers subscribing to them on OnlyFans to posting about their boyfriends cheating on them with their own mothers. That is insane. Women love posting their own L's. I would know, despite rumors, I am a woman. Now for the boomer demographic who watches me who doesn't know what an L is, 
An L is a loss, and a W is a win. And for the Zoomer demographic that watches me... <coughs> yet, yet, Ohio Rizzler. When you Can you believe this is what the English language has come into? I promise you, if you were to go to, like, I don't know, a 15-year-old, and you said, yet, yet, Rizzler... They would probably nod and be like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, I get it. What has the English language come to? Also, when you try to be petty and request money from your ex and you accidentally send it. <laughs> you try to be petty and request money from your ex and accidentally send it. <laughs> Here's a hundred dollars for wasting my time and being a cheater. L. Absolute L. My ex-boyfriend is now gay and my ex-girlfriend is now straight. Call that conversion therapy what is when happening I the guy i was in love with get his girl because i thought maybe he'd fall in love with me in the process no why did she think this would work life is not tv you are not the main protagonist of a hallmark christmas movie just remember the time <laughs> i went on a first date to the london zoo and at the gate he asked if i would mind paying for my own ticket which i said i would at which point he pulled out a two-for-one voucher so i paid for my ticket and he went in for free <laughs> i had what to break up with fuck? him our signs weren't compatible. Once again, here we go. Astrology is racism for white women. I'm a Gemini, and he told me not to flush- <laughs> We can't be together. You're an Aries. Sorry, it is forbidden. <laughs> when I peed at his house to save money, so I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Uh I wasn't prepared for that one. Hold up. Oh, house to save money. I had to wait. I had to break up with him. Our signs weren't compatible. I'm a Gemini, and when he told me not to flush when I peed at his house to save money, I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Okay, so you're breaking up with him because our signs weren't compatible. That is the main thing you are focusing on. Like, oh, okay, our signs are not compatible. You are not focusing on the fact that he has... You know what? I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> Until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Oh. Oh, no. I invited him to the crib, cooked for him, gave him the sloppiest neck you can manifest in your mind, let him fold me like an origami bird, called him an Uber, then blocked him and never spoke to him again. I really beat him to the punch. We are learning the game too fast. Wow, you sure showed him. When I broke up with a white boy and he deleted his stop Asian hate story. <laughs> Guys, my friend got banned from Tinder because she'd show up to dates without makeup and the dudes kept reporting her as a catfish. Oh my God. I don't know, I've always quickly shown the men I've dated what I look like without makeup because I figure if you don't love me at my naked faced gremlin, you don't deserve me at my 2006 myspace mid okay but that's a look though i wanted this man to be vulnerable with me for so long he finally called me yesterday and opened up but the second he started crying i lost all interest in him quickly women be like men need to show their emotions till a man shows their emotions i told my husband not to buy me a christmas present i'm fuming that he asked Oh my god. Okay, let me tell you the story of this person. A like, really quick story. I knew this person, okay? Uh, he was a co-worker of mine. And he, he was a dad. And, like, sometimes he would bring his kid to work. And when I, when I tell you there was this one time his kid was crying, and this kid was, like, seven. <laughs> he legitimately told his kid, Crying isn't for men! What are you, gay? to this child and i was just like huh what and i never in my life like my jaw was on the floor and i was like i literally was like hold on hold on wait are you saying that male males can't have feelings and he said no because that's for women and i was like never in my life did i just stop talking to somebody but I felt so bad for the kid because he did it in front of all of us, like all of me and my coworkers. And I was like, oh, well, clearly this person doesn't have any shame.
I repeat, do not listen to women when they say this. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want anything? No. Bullsh**. Get them fries. True. I forget this guy I was seeing didn't text me back for three days. And when he finally texted me, I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I was just watching The Sopranos. Hey, he's so real for that one. <laughs> when you are on your third kid and third baby daddy at 23. Huh? It's the hypersexual personality with a breeding kink for me. Okay, for the last time, you do not have a breeding kink. That is called being a woman. It is not a fetish. It came free with your genetics. Someone just asked my dude. <laughs> hey, that's fair. I am not pregnant. A reminder, once again, that unless a woman tells you she is pregnant, please don't assume. It's really hurt. I'm not. Oh my god. Oh god, do not do this. I have seen this actually happen in real life. The internet will never know when I'm pregnant, by the way. They'll just have to assume I'm eating good. I was talking to this guy I met on Tinder, having the best conversations while we sipped on our boba, but when he found out my body count was close to triple digits, the conversation got quiet. He ghosted me after and blocked my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Do all guys really care that much? Maybe I should start telling my dates that I'm a virgin instead. <laughs> yes, guys. I mean, listen, chat. You know what? I'm not going to comment on this one. I don't think I have any room to comment on this one. Care that much. And not just guys. And especially triple digits. If you're somebody who takes sex seriously and you think it's a special thing or you're a virgin or you yourself have a low body count, perfectly acceptable to yeah. care about body counts but if you a hoe or if you a man hoe and you care about the other person's body count you're a hypocrite but i feel like even if you are a hoe or a man hoe with like a 20 something body count i feel like you could still judge someone who's in the triple digits how do you even meet that many people i, I don't even know 15 <laughs> people i'm gonna give this one a w because i'm just impressed that's that's just that, yeah that is kind of impressive over for speeding and the nice officer said i could just show him a picture of license instead because i forgot my wallet and watched me scroll past multiple boob pictures and i couldn't tilt my phone the other way because my dad was in the other seat oh we are becoming too comfortable on the internet <laughs> we are getting too comfortable what the fuck okay there is nothing more stressful and anxiety inducing than handing someone your phone to show them a picture and you're just like <laughs> okay okay give it back because if they accidentally swipe they're gonna be seeing your hentai horse futa am i right who am i <laughs> does not have that on their phone i remember one time i was so obsessed with a boy that i found out his address his mom and dad's number i would call his mom and when she answered i would make up lies about him so he got his phone taken away so he didn't talk to other girls i found his family members names how many times he moved houses what schools he went to found all his family photos found all the girls he messed with so i could become friends with them some people need to get locked up People like this are a danger to society. What's crazy is men will look at this and they'll be like, I could fix her. Okay, so when I was in third grade, I had a crush on this guy, but he had a crush on this other girl and I cried about it to my mom. And my mom was like, who cares? They're not going to get married. And that made me feel better until I saw today that they did in fact get married. Which Aww. reminds me when people are like, oh, like, don't worry, your school bully is going to be fat and ugly in the future. No, my school bully is a bodybuilder now she could kick my ass it my school bully is doing well in life <laughs> there was this one girl in high school i don't know what her problem was with me because i've never talked to her i was so shy and like so very timid i had a very small friend group but for some reason this girl had it out for me like, she would make fun of what I was wearing, which wasn't even any different than what most people were wearing. She would just go out of her way to say nasty comments about me. But you want to know something, chat? Me and her shared an econ class. And out of the entire class, I was the only one. We were doing this lesson. I was the only one who knew how to do it or understood it. So I was going around and helping the people that were sitting around me. Tell me why my high school bully walked from one end of the classroom up to me and goes can you help me with this and i said no <laughs> and she threw the biggest fit she walked around like to the other side of the classroom and she goes why does Sai have a problem with me 
I don't get it. Like, why can't she just help me? Like, she's helping everybody else. I'm like, wow, bitch. I really wonder why. This was my senior year. And she's been doing this since freshman. So, for four years, I had to endure her comments and her just, just being outright rude. And she had the audacity to get mad at me when I said, no, I'm not going to help you. And you know what, chat? She's doing well in life. And you want to know something? Good for her. Good for her. It's important to remember that you were not the main character. And sometimes good things happen to people you do not like. L. And honestly, you're 27 years old. Time to move on from your third grade crush. A guy I was hooking up with told me I was getting chubby and I should eat less. I just ate an entire f***ing pizza. F*** you. This is girl boss shit right here. See, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. When somebody tells me to do something, I'm the type of person, like... If I don't like you, then I'm gonna do the opposite. Even if I know what you're telling me is true. Brian. Oh, no, no, no. Do not do this. Do not spite eat to get back at someone calling you fat. You go to the gym and you get... I do what is happening thing. out there? Who is dying? The guy I really like ghosted me because I posted a TikTok about guys with piercings and he didn't have any. Honestly, kind of the man's L here. Women will often talk about what they're attracted to and what their type is. And they'll talk about like what men they find handsome and like men who like that woman will like constantly obsessively compare themselves to those features and those people. They'll be discouraged because they don't look anything like them. Like maybe she likes blonde hair and maybe he has brown hair. But if she likes you, she will make an exception. And maybe she's attracted that to things true. she didn't even know she was attracted to until yeah. she met you. Congratulations to the man who had matched with me the moment I told him I was a journalist. Keep it classy, middle America. Also, guess whose name I'm running through the court records tonight. <laughs> Chad, do not date Why? journos. You want match me on Tinder, so now I'm gonna run your name through the courts. Okay, psycho. Oh, of course you worked for Jezebel. <laughs> Rest in piss. Women need to start using men for sex. Sleep with them and block them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Who wants to tell her? No, but really, not all men do that, so now you're just contributing to this cycle of abuse. Do not do this. Woman L. My boyfriend said he was into BDSM, so he'd have me doing burpees, planking, wall sits, and push-ups. I was into it, and he said he loves watching girls get pushed to their physical and mental limits when they submit to him. Then I- Nani the fuck? <laughs> what? After a few months of this, he admitted he was just trying to get me in better shape because he didn't like having sex with me as much as he did at my old weight. Should I be offended? Yes! Oh, I didn't even realize that. 18-year-old female with her boyfriend who's a 29 male. There is so many things wrong with this. I I'm I am legitimately getting a headache trying to process whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> okay, this one is just funny. Wait, what are these ages? 18 and 29 my old weight? Me and my boyfriend were hanging a TV and I told him to just let me do Wait, it. hold on. That just clicked in my head. Old weight? This girl is... Oh my god. What the fuck? And now there's... How do I tell him I need him to do it? Let your man do man things. Men were built for war and hunting. And now they're stuck in cubicles for eight hours a day doing Microsoft Excel. The least you could do. <laughs> Is let a man hang a damn TV. Can I be honest, chat? I'm so sorry. This is so off topic, but she said Microsoft Excel. Um, I have that on my resume. I was like, wow, I am efficient in Microsoft Excel. I'm not. I don't know fucking know how to use that program. Um, what you can take from this story is lie <laughs> on your resumes. What are they gonna do during your interview? Thank you so much for the four months, Noble. <laughs> What are they gonna do? When you're interviewed, they're just gonna be like, hey guys, um, here, try to code this thing on Excel. They're not gonna do that. I mean, yes, there's Microsoft Excel classes, but who gives a fuck? Who is gonna go to these classes? Cause it's not gonna be me. Why do you think Google exists? I don't care if you can open the jar yourself, give it to him. Hi, Many chocolate iguana. They need to feel like they have a purpose or else they die. Do you notice that men are no longer <laughs> persuasive? Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, 
that's it. These guys are told when a woman says no, that means no, and they're correct. So if you say no, you better mean no. Apparently like a large huh? percentage of men aren't even approaching women anymore. The amount of TikToks I have seen of women secretly filming men hitting on them and the men are not even being creepy. They're being pretty normal. Maybe they're a bit awkward. And the caption's like, this creep was hitting on me. Whoa, how dare him? Like, how do you think your parents met? How are people supposed to meet people nowadays? Tinder? Like, you can't just walk up- That is true. I see way too many people just like, even in like, person, like, oh my God, he stood right next to me. He is stalking me. I'm like, are we, are we, are, what? How dare I try to be a human and interact with someone for real? I mean, yes, there are creepy people out there. They are, there are, and you can honestly tell right away. But like, I just hate that sometimes every little thing that somebody does, they're just like, oh my God, this person's a full blown stalker. Oh my God. Guys, calm down. To a girl or guy down, you think is cute anymore? You have to be swiping on them? I am afraid we have me too a little too close to the sun, and now the men are afraid of speaking to us. I asked my boyfriend if he wanted to rail me, and he said he was too tired. So we went to bed, and I literally woke up to him jerking it. Honestly, I can't decide whose L this is. Is it her <laughs> L because he didn't want to have sex with her? Or is it his L for being too lazy? Perhaps she lays there like a dead what? fish. I don't know. Maybe... Just, Work out your issues in private. Why is this even on TikTok? Wait, no. That's what I'm saying! That is what I'm saying! Okay? People who use their social medias, at least public ones, okay? Because I won't lie, I've been there, done that. I've had a private account before. Not anymore, because I just, like, realized I don't really need to do that. But, like, people who have used their public social medias as diaries is crazy. <laughs> this is what I mean by sometimes people on the internet get too fucking comfortable. Second thought, do not work them out in private. This is great content. Please do. Yeah, you have a good point. Maybe he wasn't tired. Maybe he was just didn't want to wake her up. I get it. Private accounts, fine, whatever. That's your private account. Add a few of your friends, whatever. But if you're going on your part, like public social medias where your friends are following you, your family is following you, or like you have other people following you and you're using that like a diary, perhaps maybe that isn't the best way to try to, I don't know, vent out your frustration. I feel like there's a million and other better and more effective ways to vent out your frustrations. But like being public about it on social media is not it. I'm just saying. Like, I get it. Like I said, I get it. Every now and then, sometimes you're just like, wow, I'm Sag, you know? But if it's like every fucking post, every tweet, every story that you put out, it gets so mentally draining and emotionally draining having to be a follower or something like that to see you post that. Digital footprints exist, guys. Please remember that. If you're posting on your, like, let's use this as an example. You have a Twitter account. On your Twitter account has your name or a username that you tie with, like, other common social medias that have your name on it. And if you're posting stuff like this, let me remind you guys, especially with, like, companies that take their hiring process very seriously, they are going to background check you. They are going to to look at your social media and they're gonna determine whether or not they're gonna hire you sometimes just based off how you act in social media so please rem remember digital footprint digital footprint yeah it's not uncommon for a company to quick yeah no they, there's literally programs that run people's social media and if they see something they don't like or like something like that they can just you could literally lose an opportunity just like that my suggestion, if you really feel like you need to vent out your frustration on social media, make a private account. Have maybe one or two of your closest friends follow it. I don't know. Have nobody follow it. And if real, if that is your way of venting out your frustration, then go the right, go right ahead. <gasps> Pocket trash. Thank you so much for the raid, y'all. Trashy raid. Thank you so much.
For those who are new here, hi, I'm Poseidon, goddess of the seas, earthquake, and horses, and I'm a VTuber with the agency Mythos. I do variety content, just chatting, gaming, all kinds of that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, we're just reacting to this video because holy shit, I am losing my fucking mind. <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful stream. I got asked on a date today and I blocked the guy because he asked me what I wanted to do instead of just telling me, listen. Oh my God, wow, men can't be polite either without somebody flaming them, that is insane. There is a reason women are so indecisive about things, about where to go, and especially about what to eat. It is in our blood. Back in the caveman times, we didn't have a choice. You hunted the mammals and you dragged them back to the cave. And that is what we ate, so you choose. You bringing home Chipotle is the modern man bringing home a mammoth carcass. One time I was gonna have sex with this dude after a concert. Now we went to shower off and I did this naked little jig and went, it's time to wash me holes and he made me go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this video is so painful. <laughs> I can't. What the fuck? No. No. <laughs> no, don't fumble the quirky girl. No. I'm out eating with this guy and he took the bill and I offered to pay and he said, "Okay, here." <laughs> I love the Stop pausing. This is this is this is getting out of We're not even halfway through this video. We're like barely halfway. Oh my god, just say what you mean. Men do not know how to play these mind games. These boys autistic out here. A guy wrote to me on Tinder calling me quite the catch because I like nachos and always sunny. So I wrote back saying, Well, if you're impressed by that, you should see my tits. And he unmatched me. I literally have no idea what men there is no absolute way these tweets are real. You cannot tell me these are real. Want. See, this is a woman who has on her mind that men want sex, 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 and nothing else. So she came out too strong right out of the gate and scared them off. I was on a blind date. The guy opened up Tinder while sitting there with me and was swiping on girls. I guess I wasn't interesting enough. Haha. -ha. Oof. A lot of pain in that haha. -ha. What's the hardest thing you ever had to say? It's me or the PlayStation. He took the PlayStation over his marriage and 10 year relationship. If he is choosing the PlayStation over your marriage and 10 year relationship, he is not the one, honey. I would have I would have filed for divorce. Oh my God. You know, I always say if somebody offers you an ultimatum between them and something else, take the something else but in this case i don't know a i think there's definitely more stuff going on there than just that no 100 percent 100 percent there's definitely i don't think it was just the playstation like maybe there's more to this story but ending a 10 year relationship and marriage over a playstation i just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, not like this, you know, like I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> That's why guys don't want to wife me up. I thought these men wanted like, you know, big, strong, tough girls. Okay, so first of all, she will find a man, okay? Yeah, one hundred percent. She's self-aware. She's just a little quirked up white girl with tattoos. Who doesn't like a little quirked up white girl with tattoos? I personally love tattoos. I love I love things. tattoos too. If I wasn't such a pussy, I would look like this. In high school Holy I was so shit. determined to get an Avenge Sevenfold logo on the back of my neck. So happy that didn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, some men do like her style and trust me judging by the internet there's somebody for everybody mummies but if she's not attracting the type of men she wants she could just easily soften up her style she could take the nose ring out she could put her hair down i'm not gonna say l or w this is kind of neutral i'm leaning towards w because she's so self-aware about it but i think she's gonna make it we're all gonna make it queens if a man leaves you after you've cheated he clearly wasn't a real man real men would work through it and help you become a better woman they accept you with all your flaws. I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> flaws. When I thought my man was cheating on me, so I slept with his dad, but actually he was just planning on his proposal to me and- <laughs> These 
are just getting progressively worse. How is it getting worse? <laughs> the fact that dad allowed it is insane. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my God. If that was me, if I was the guy in this relationship and I found out my girlfriend slept with my dad, the way I would have cut my dad off and the way I would have cut her off. Holy fucking shit. And he was just planning the proposal. Oh my God. <laughs> Ruins it. What? When you go through his phone to see if he's cheating, but you find screenshots of you cheating. Oh when you my his god. Phone to see if he's cheating, but found nothing. Then suddenly he said, My turn. Listen. If your partner wants all of your passwords and constantly wants to see your phone, reads all your texts, wants access to all your accounts all the time, and accuses you of cheating on them randomly, that's most likely projection, and they are cheating on you. Not yeah. all the time, sometimes they have trust issues, maybe from a different relationship. In these cases, yes, it, it was projection. Mom of two leaves her husband of 14 years for a stranger she was convinced was her soulmate after one magical night at a conference, only to be ghosted by him. I'm sorry, are we supposed to feel bad for this bitch? No! I don't. Men, if the DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that you must take responsibility of the baby. Women go through a lot in marriages, and women- Oh, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Men, if DNA confirms that the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that- You deserve better. <laughs> what? Woman, 37, stabs husband multiple times after finding explicit photos of another woman that turned out to be her when she was oh my thinner. god. No! This man texted me, thank you for showing me what it feels like to be loved. I can't wait to make you my wife someday. It's gay shit like that that makes me want to cheat. What? If a man is affectionate, that must mean he's gay. Why is he? Why? Why are people like this? I don't just, I don't fucking get it. What the fuck? Women be like, <laughs> wow, thanks. This is why it's so fucking <laughs> hard to convince men to open up. I hope and pray this king has found someone who actually appreciates him. When he cheated on me with the same girl my other ex cheated on me with. Girl, that isn't your average hoe. That's your arch nemesis. You need to either <laughs> defeat her in battle or commit seppuku right now. No other way. Betrayed. I suggested an open marriage to my husband to spice up our sex life. He then fell for his lover and I was heartbroken. Many, many, many what? such cases. Woman wants to open up the marriage, man finds someone else, and leaves with her. Because as soon as you open up the marriage, he's not gonna take it seriously anymore. Because you're not taking it seriously anymore. And a lot of people just can't be polyamorous. They can only be monogamous. They can only True. give their love and intimacy to one person at a time. So L, common open marriage L. Getting two jobs and telling my boyfriend that I'll work 70 hours a week so I can pay the bills so he can find his dream job to find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked 16 hours. When he went on- <sighs> Fuck, yeah, the, the fact the guy was letting her work 70 hours and him not doing anything and being okay with that is crazy. That is a big red flag. And the fact he was using it as an opportunity to go cheat on her and he was trying to get a free ride from her, that is so sad. To find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked six hours. I feel hours. so bad when for he her. Went on Tinder right in front of me an hour after taking my virginity. I nursed <laughs> my cheating husband back to health from severe brain trauma. Then he cheated again. Okay, so I know this is about oh my women God. boosting their L's, but God damn, these men ain't shit. No wonder there's so many insane, broken harpies coming at me when I talk about male loneliness. And no wonder there are so many men who think all women are lying whores. Y'all are destroying yourselves. Stop cheating. Is it that hard to not f*** someone? I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if you feel the urge to cheat, the relationship is over. <laughs> at least that's how I see things. Jesus Christ, man. Is it really that hard to not be a piece of shit? Is it really that hard? Look at my audience. All the people who haven't done that. I mean, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. It was fun. So did you break what? his heart then? 
Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Demon! Demon! What? Why are you proud of that? Why Why are you proud of that? That is not a flex. Gone, vile woman. Congratulations, you have created another person with trust issues. People like this should be in jail. People like this should be in prison. People like this should be thrown in the pit. Remembering the time he came home and told me he cheated on me, so I slept with him and made him tell me I was better. When I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me, instead of breaking up, he had me and the other girl give speeches on why he should stay with either of us. And when he chose me, I took him out to dinner and got him thank you presents. Never was much of a romantic. I used to beg him to stop cheating on me by giving him money. What? Me remembering the time I walked in on my boyfriend cheating on me and I left and came back five minutes later and asked to join. They declined. <laughs> what is wrong with all of these people? I have lost faith in humanity. I think, guys, I think us gods should come together and just reset Earth. I think we just, this whole entire planet needs a reset. Entity has gone too far. Too far. Who's with me? Who, who's, who's with me? And women, get some self-respect. Holy sh I would say you could do better, but honestly, I don't know anymore. I Turn off the cheat. All women should have an affair once in their life. It made me feel sexier and look younger. Oh, so now we're equating cheating to, to being healthier. Did it? Second of all, this is the kind of shit the average woman has blasting into her mind 24-7. And you wonder why like 45% of them are destined to be single in 2030. And on the flip side, you have all these like manosphere red pill people excusing cheating, but that's a video for another day. Is the man I'm cheating with lying to me? Like he does to his wife? Yes. Yes, he is. Probably. Next. I've cheated on every single one of my significant others. Would you still take a shot? Fellas, would you take a shot? Wait, is this from a dating page? Why are people saying, why do people think cheating is a flex? It's not a flex. Why are people using it as a way to be like, yeah, I've cheated on somebody. I'm, 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 I'm the best pick you got. No others would you still take a shot fellas would you take a shot i swear to god women with big titties can get away with anything the power dynamic of the world is this the peasants the rich the elites the deep state women with big titties broke up with my boyfriend who loved me so i could hook up with my co-worker that i've had a huge crush on since forever who just got out of a 3.5 year relationship all to get pumped and dumped i'm going to step away that's what I'm saying. This is karma. Thinking about how my perfect first boyfriend who was nice and bought flowers and gifts and planned surprise dates and never followed girls on social media and how I dumped him because I was bored and went off to date men who literally abused and cheated on me, LMAO. How do you fumble the bag this bad? <laughs> how do you fumble the bag this bad? God. Because I was bored and went off to date men who literally abused and cheated on me, LMAO. Thinking about the time I left a man who would do anything to make me happy for a literal bum. When I had a boy that had loved me unconditionally since we were 13, flies across the country to surprise me, and after two years still supported me and worshipped me, and I let him down for a lying, cheating piece of sh**. I'm starting to suspect there's not a male loneliness epidemic, and it's more of a avoiding these evil b epidemic. This video was turning me into a misogynist. I always thought the woman leaving the nice guy for the bad boy and getting her heart broken was a silly trope. Like, I knew it happened, but I didn't know it happened this much. L's all around. Throw these women in the pit. I hope these guys find women who appreciate their niceness because believe it or not, despite popular belief, most women do like that. I asked him how tall he was and he said, I'm five and I immediately hung the phone up. Turns out he's 5'11". How do I What apologize? the fuck? I rejected the sweet guy various times, then a couple months later, he's dating someone new. Then once I got home, I cried. The time my prison pen pal came out of jail, f***ed me once and never spoke to me again after two years of telling me he loved me and wanted me to be in his life forever. I'm sorry. Your what? Your prison pen pal? People still do that? 
You're telling me the convict in jail was not a good person? Oh, Whoa, dude! I left my husband because the sex was boring. Now I'm having the same problem with my new partner. Have you ever thought maybe you are the problem? Maybe it isn't your husband, and if it's happening a second time, maybe you're the issue? There... There is a common factor here. He proposed. Aw, that's nice. To the girl he dated after me. Oh. oh. I know we all let our dogs eat us out at least once. Yeah, no, we're, we're resetting Earth. <laughs> We are going to, I'm going to talk to Zeus, and I'm going to talk to Hades. We are going to reset this planet. <laughs> Humanity has gone too far. I'm sorry. We? Us? Who is Who's we? Us and we, you speak of. One time I was riding a dude and he pressed my bladder, so I ended up peeing all over him for a solid minute. And after I said, I'm claiming my territory. <laughs> <laughs> Who said she's perfect? Hyrule? <laughs> what the fuck? I left my underwear on the bathroom floor after my shower the other day, and now there's ants eating my discharge. I'm not showing this, but it's literally just dirty underwear with ants all over it. You know, growing up, I was always told, like, oh, boys are the smelly, messy gender, and I don't know about that. Confession, one time somebody nutted in my mouth and his semen was chewy. Huh? Back tears. Oh. Uh, uh, ch ch chewy? <laughs> Who the fuck said yogurt? <laughs> This one made me gag. Who's it's L just... is this? Is this hers or the man's? I don't even know. See a fucking doctor. Okay, guys, I really need help. Every check from my sugar daddy bounced. Wells Fargo is closing my accounts, and I'm going to owe them a lot of money. Like thousands and thousands. I'm in a full-blown panic right now. I don't know what to do. You know, as a socialist, I, I really hate to say this, and I wish we lived in a different society and didn't have to give all our time and our life to this labor under this evil capitalist system, but get a job bitch. I spent 20k on plastic surgery to try to get a man but it hasn't worked I've been single for seven years oh my god guys if she is ugly on the inside she is ugly on the outside well you went from cute and unique to like cookie cutter Kardashian alien but perhaps it is not the way you look maybe it is something else you do not have to look like a blow-up doll to find love in fact you're more likely to not find love looking this way twenty five thousand dollar l everyone my age is having children buying houses and getting married and i'm just over here crying with happiness that i got to hear hillary clinton say human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights in person <laughs> you don't have kids how old are you me 31 that surprises me i'd be lost without my kids i mean how do you find meaning in life me Marvel keeps coming out with films, so I have that. Average millennial, reject love and family, <laughs> embrace corporate media slop. Okay, it's one thing to what? not want kids, <laughs> it's another to cope like this. At least I have Marvel movies, at least I have Hillary Clinton. Bleak. Thinking about the fact that I offered him $100 a week to add me back on Snap and talk to me, and he said no. I was so ready to pay that too. I still am. I will still pay you to add me back. Please, I'm begging. Could you imagine this reversed? Like men paying money to talk to a crazy woman? Oh, wait. That's like 60% of my Discord. I'm real. Donnie. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Fun fact about Donnie, he's a Marvel nerd. Are you into Marvel? You know what? No. Like, my brother watches them, but I just can't get into anime. Like... <laughs> oh my god! Anime! Okay. Guys, my bet, my waifu is, um, Captain... Captain America, guys. Like, you can't not like Marvel. It's amazing.
there's so many different things and it's not anime, it's just like a bunch of superheroes who try to save everybody. Oh no. <laughs> we that need is to so hook embarrassing. This guy up with the other woman who's like 31 and single and only looks forward to Marvel movies. True. They are a match made in heaven. When I remember that I basically begged a dude who had his mattress on the floor and a plastic jug full of loose change on his mantle to be with me and he said no. I know way too many people that live like <laughs> And no, I'm not flexing. I'm very ashamed. I still can't believe I fucked a guy who made me drink water out of a Tupperware container. I fucked a guy with actual shit on his floor. We all make mistakes. The Tupperware I can forgive. The shit on the floor, I cannot. The Tupperware is whatever. It's the shit on the floor for me. Still can't believe I fucked a guy who made me drink water out of a Tupperware container. I fucked a guy with actual shit on his floor. Okay, this is why so many women think men are improving or putting in a lot of effort. Because they don't have to. They can have literal shit on their floor and you will fuck them. How are women's standards so high and simultaneously so low? I'm a liberal. That's it's what I'm hard saying. To find masculine men to date who aren't conservative. Ladies, stop, stop, stop fucking thinking. You need your man to align with you completely. Because you know who's gonna align with you completely? A woman. A woman with bipolar disorder. Woman marries a dog after 220 failed relationships with men. 220? So now we're results- we're- we're- You know what? I'm done. The fate of every lonely man is suicide, and the fate of every lonely woman is marrying her dog. Unfortunately, I can't make a cute recap video of this year because I spent 2022 ugly crying over my ex, quit my job, ended up in a psych ward, and got an STD. Yeah, that sounds about right. It really does need to be studied why women love posting their L's. My theory is that like women's go-to humor is self-deprecation. Like female comedians do it often. Even me, like I'm constantly making self-deprecating jokes and videos. So it could be that or it could be just like a cry for help <laughs> or attention. I have no idea, but, uh, but what I do know is you couldn't beat this sh out of a man. So that was that, whatever that was. Wait, I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Post one of your biggest L's. Did you ever fumble a relationship? Did a girl flirt with you 10 years ago? So there was this guy named uh, Medusa when you didn't realize she was flirting until now. If you want to support the channel, please consider donating to my Patreon, link down below. I'm doing Christmas cards again this year. Five dollars and up, you get a personalized Christmas card and a sticker. So stay tuned for that and yeah. I miss the person I was before I watched this video. I like legitimately feel traumatized. My therapist is going, my, my therapist is going to hear from me. I legitimately spent so much time watching that video because I could not believe, I could not believe the amount of shit that was happening in it. I am traumatized.